Well, in my infinite lack of um, judgment and wisdom and foresight, I decided that it probably wasn't worth uh, capturing Terraria from the start on my first blind playthrough. Jeez, even calling it that's presumptuous, but yeah, I figured it probably wouldn't um, yield anything worth, you know, uploading or reviewing, so I've put about 20 minutes in, and now I'm wishing I had been capturing it, because it was, it was a pretty awesome little adventure of discovery. Um, so, yeah, I've set it up now. I'm going to jump back in for my second um, foray into Terraria. So I'll try to load up same character and world and everything. This is going to be the first time I'm actually loading anything in this game. Looks good though. This is where we left off. Um, so I've played through, I think only one night. I reckon, I reckon this is day two. And I'm just sort of learning the basics and holding it, clinging to the life as I go. Um, it's, it's gone all right. So far I've taught myself a little bit of sword play, um, basic looting, equipment management to a point. I know I can use these nine hotkeys to um, get a hold of what I need in my inventory. So, Is he going to fit under that? I think he has to jump to move, so hopefully he can't. Unless he can slide. Yeah, this has been a favourite move. I fended off a horde of zombies on the first night. I figured I'd do the sensible thing and um, build a shelter, since that was one of the first things my young friend up here taught me. So I was in a, a little dirt box for the first night, and zombies started spilling in. And that was a bit of a, a boon to my judgement right there, that I'd um, yeah, built a shelter rather than adventuring at all, and it turned out to be completely necessary. So, uh, yeah, I'm on hardcore, by the way. So this is my first, first character, and I am still can't really wrap my head around the crafting system yet. Uh, looks like night's falling again, just as I was about to try to be a bit brave and head out, but... Um, yeah, I want to keep being smart and try not to die as long as possible. So I'm not going to... Oh man, 171 dirt. Me likey. Yeah, I'm going to try to beat careful. By way of not dying. So I'll try to keep myself safe at night, I think is a pretty decent first step in not getting killed. So this little fortification I think is tall enough to keep those slimes out and hopefully nothing more um, airborne than that comes along while I'm spelunking. I'm also pretty aware that spelunking might be the worst thing I can do for my own safety. But I know zombies come above ground, so avoiding that definitely appeals. And there's probably a few techniques for tunneling in an efficient way that lets you also get back out, but so far I'm just muddling, um, and it's been alright. I haven't trapped myself yet, if that's even possible. And I've learned about the joys of um, putting down torches as I go for a bit of elimination. Um, I haven't really nailed down how building torches works. I've been in the crafting menu, but and I've you know successfully crafted torches a couple of times, but I don't really know how I did. So it's just one more thing that I'll eventually 
be able to do in my sleep, but for now it's, um, yeah, it's a bit of a luxury and an achievement if I just manage it even once. Now I'm suddenly terrified, and I don't know why. Well, that's quite a drop. Ah, so they just get blinded in the background. Yeah, well, obviously. Cool. Um, yeah, I don't want to go deeper. Something makes me think deep is dangerous. So I think I'm going to start a second exit to the half well sort of a first exit. And I'll probably eventually start thinking about better building materials than raw dirt, but it's done the job admirably so far. I've always sort of told myself, well, no, when I first saw this game I thought it was awesome. I think on Good Games where I first saw it. And they were having a great time. Um, but it's also the sort of game that I might just not like, so I picked it up for 250 today on Steam. I nearly didn't, and then I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do it. So I did it, and it's already more fun than I thought it would be. It just feels good. So it's good, I reckon. I reckon I'll get 250 out of it. Ah, now am I going to be able to build out of stone? No, that is not stone. Yeah, cool. Stone blocks. Alright, I think I'll build myself a stone hut. I'm gradually coming around to the idea that you might as well use what you have rather than um, worry too much about wasting it because in the end you can't go too far wrong and experimentation is usually how you work stuff out and it's better to you know die with an empty inventory than a full inventory I can't stand dying with like piles of ammo and potions and that kind of thing in games anymore just feels ridiculous to not use what you have at your disposal, so... Ah, that was F9. So now I'm cycling lighting modes. That felt like more than four modes. I'm not sure which one's the fanciest, with only one kind of light source, but... That's fine. Now what am I seeing here? Maybe I should just stay out of it, but there's a little bit of a glow coming from under these stones. And I kinda can't help myself. I think there might be something here. Unlike there's anything here. I don't think I picked anything up. Just a lot of stone. Yeah, I don't know any of these things by sight yet, except the obvious ones. Oh, awesome. Pockets full of cobwebs. I'm a high roller. Yeah, hopefully, if you're watching this, I don't even know if I'm going to upload it, I probably will. Um, hopefully you have an interest in watching someone play this blind and carefully, because that's all you're going to get here for a while at least. I'm going more for, um, yeah, my own sort of satisfaction than making an entertaining video, so 
I'm gonna tend to be cautious most of the time. And just try not to die, really. Ah, cool. So the torches do have a lifespan. It's pretty long, it seems like maybe 24 hours or something. Well, he knows I'm here. So I think I just have to cut trees and kill slimes to build torches. Wow, that guy can jump. I'm going to try my patented make a small hole and stab zombies through it. Technique. This guy's no idiot. He's, um, he's right on me. I need to be up a little bit higher, which isn't so good. I have to make him down lower, maybe. And I love, 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 love the way grass grows out over the dirt after time. Like, there's I shouldn't have shouldn't have doubted it, but there's just lots of stuff that's impressing me. Um, I might have to take a bit of a risk here, or not. Just as likely not. What am I even doing? This is one of those, yeah, sort of micromanaging type tasks that's surely completely natural to experienced players. I guess that grass doesn't count as dirt. That's funny. Now, <laughs> make a little zombie prison. Or not. I can try and fail. That's one option. So, I was planning on getting up higher, not down lower. Yeah, for all I know, I can take these guys on. But. My eternal caution tells me, just don't try it. Not sure what the rules are on placing materials. I guess you have to be able to get pretty close and also have sort of line of sight, or at least, you know, kind of line of contact with where you're trying to put it. Ah, okay, that's what I'm going for. So now I can... Nibble out a bit more of this dirt. Oh, I don't know if he can drop down through that. It looks like no. The grass is massively inconvenient. Is it because there's a tree growing out of it? That's probably what it is. Maybe I can cut down this tree from underground. I'm not trying to wrong you, Terraria. I'm just. Trying to survive here, man. Okay. Now I'm thinking I should be able to mine this. Please don't kill me. Fuck, I've trapped myself here. My bunk is a death trap. Alright. Okay. My bunker is working. Yeah, see, that's the kind of thing I was worried about. Whoa. I think I really need to work out... Um, crafting bench. So far, I don't know how to make a crafting bench. I think I'll have to hope that guy survives long enough for me to talk to him again. Oh shit. Could have been so bad. 
Ah, and again, it's the tree that's giving me grief. You know, I got a lumberjack at the same time as defending myself. Whoa. Lumberjack isn't a verb, you idiot. You meant to say you might be able to jack lumber. Right, I think this is the kind of defensive window I was going for. Maybe not though, maybe I need this one gone as well. Hopefully this eyeball guy can't fit in. It looks like he should be able to, but he keeps not. Which works for me. <laughs> oh. I'm playing like squash with this guy. Hey, squash buddy. Come on zombie, you can find me. Don't turn around yet, you moron. How can you be so dumb? It offends me. Come on squishy. Yeah, apologies if this is the lamest, most offensive way you can possibly play this game. I just don't know. But... I think it's excusable on my first play.
Thank <laughs> you. 